Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. And we've got an interesting hand, but I think I'll keep it since we've got the Winding Ways and we got four lands. Hopefully, we don't draw anymore. We are in the draw, too, so maybe we can draw into a nice Lord or something. Uh, but I'll probably Winding Way turn two, but we're up against Elves, which uh, for this hand, uh, yeah, not great, but we did get a Lord. So that's a good start. Let's pass it back and see how much they can they can do here, which will probably be a lot. <laughs> probably be a lot. Ah, love this version of Kyrian Ranger. Really good, really nice. I think this is the MTGO version, I believe. Yeah, really cool though. Just pass through the turn here, because they uh they they have stuff they can do. Oh, Burning Tree. Interesting. And fight my guy. Okay. Savage swiped him. Nothing I can do about that. So maybe this isn't quite what I thought. Hmm. Don't know. I guess we'll just go Lord. Be mana efficient. Pass it back to them. Savage Swipe. Feels like something elves still might play, but... Hmm. Guess we'll see. <laughs> Burning. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Block you. Alright. Got too much going on right now. With all that open mana. Vines, Mutagenic. I will take the two. See what you have to play on your main. Hunter. Alright, so he just got pretty big. Ooh, another one. Okay. Interesting. They're kind of all in on this. Uh, but we can still race a little bit. <laughs> I want a winding way here. I think I might winding way right now, just swing in for two this turn. And we get one. Okay, not great. <laughs> That's not great. But they got two cards in hand. Uh, maybe this is just Mono Green Stompy, I suppose. Do they play with Kyrian? Oh, they do. This is Mono Green Stompy, guys. My bad. Because they definitely play with Hunger of the Howl. And I know they play with Burning Tree, so... Should have read that a little bit sooner, but... We got it. It's all good. I wasn't playing into anything. Pass it back to them. We're going to get hit for four. Maybe more. But, uh, it's alright. Uh, we had a really bad winding way, though, which is a bit concerning. There's the Rancor, so getting hit for six. Ugh. Yucky. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh-oh. There's my phone. Alright, sorry about that. My phone was going off in the background. Uh, well, now we at least can, like, potentially drop a Hunter Sliver, make them block something, and kill off their Burning Tree. Uh, but we're not going to do that this turn. I'm just going to swing in with my Muscle. And uh, I'll hold back some blockers, though, just in case this guy gets really out of control. But well, we're just going to set up to drop that hunter next turn and clear out the board a little bit. 
even things out since now they've only got one card in hand. Now they're just going to pass, so they're going to regret that, I think. Potentially. Potentially not, though. Ugh, just an Ash Barons, too. That's yuck. Alright, so... Not going to be swinging in with my Lord, so let's use mana for that. Uh, now we can swing in like this. We will provoke on our Viverlance. We'll provoke here. We'll provoke it on this. We're not going to do it on these, though. We'll say no to the, the last, uh, the plated and the gem hide. Say no. Say okay. Say no. Say okay. Say yes. And say yes. They could have a buff in their hand or something still. That could get them out of this. Uh, but with the flanking on the block, we should be able to kill this burning tree. They'll have to block. Uh, and, you know, if they got a mutagenic to save it, so be it. We won't die from it next turn, so. Sneak in for four. And we'll just see how it goes. We'll definitely cycle this Ash Barons and just get ourselves like a mountain or something like that. Uh, just to clear out our deck a little bit more. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Oh, our po oh, yeah. Oh, man. Messing this up. I didn't even realize our power wasn't even good enough for this burning tree to die. <laughs> uh, so that was a bit unfortunate. But it's fine. We're good. We're still in command here. Other storm gained three life. Okay. Well, that's last card in their hand. It's good to know. Yeah, I messed that up. Uh, I messed that up. I was not paying attention to where our power was at. Uh, I thought our flanking would bring him at three, which it did, but our power was not three. So that's a bit embarrassing. But they're still going to be passing back, but uh, definitely here. And we're just going to go wide. I will grab a mountain just in case. Okay, well, they didn't want to go any further for some reason, but our winding way is not letting me see our winding way. All right. Well, we made mistakes, but we still have the better board, and I think they were just too empty-handed for them to do anything anyways. So that's what happened there. Blade Black isn't going to be super necessary. We'll take a Gleeful, maybe for combat tricks. What else do we want here? I don't think Electric Curry is good in this matchup. Uh, maybe Standard Bear. Maybe Standard Bear will slow them down, but... I think I'm okay with just bringing in the Gleeful Sabotage and going it from that. Well, I apologize for the bad misplays on that. Some people might have been going, what the the heck are you doing you can't kill that that guy but uh we were in fine shape this is man we're getting some flooded hands uh, i'm gonna mulligan this one though wow 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 okay that's crazy jeez should have cooked the first one, I guess, huh? At least we had a lord. So, winding way turn two. I already got a bunch of power on the board. Oh, man. That's rough, dude. I really want a mulligan again, but, uh, you know, we covered, we recovered last time, but we, at least we had a second sidewinder. We're going to drop the Ash Barons. Say done. Could have actually just dropped the Forest. That might have been better.
But yikes, that was rough. Alright, at least we're getting some playables here. Nettle coming in for two. See if they untap him here. Another nettle. All right. Sure, sure. All right. Well, we got a lord. It's nice. So, do I want a winding way now? Probably not. I guess we'll take a turn to play out a Lord and Pass. Well, we're recovering like we did last game. And now we just need to pay attention again to, to what's actually happened on the board so I don't make any mistakes like the first game. <laughs> it's a bummer uh, we couldn't see what our winding way would have drawn us. I, I always like to see when it's kind of like... Uh, we, couldn't, we, we couldn't have killed them that turn just based on the board state we were at. But that winding way, all right, they're going to fight. Yep. That winding way might have been the thing to really turn it around and just secure our victory. So I always like to look and see if uh, there's something that would have just helped us won the game for my own personal information, just to see how the deck plays out. Uh, but it wasn't letting us look at the draw, so. Now we're getting hit for five. I think we'll go winding way now. Oh wow, our winding ways have been such trash. I will right, we'll put down a plated. Dang, what what are these hands that we're getting dealt? These winding ways are trash. All right, it's just a plated sliver. Let put it down. All right, thank you. Pass to them. Yeah, at this point, I'm like, I'm like, if they beat us, fine. Let's go to game three and let's have a good hand so we can actually play this deck right. All right, so there's that. All right, they're gonna do what they do. Fight my creature. Smart, they gotta keep my board low. Very advantageous for them. Getting hit for six. River Boa. Can regenerate him. It's got island walk, but uh, we don't got islands, so we don't got to worry about that. Now we're in chump blocking mode. Well, another muscle's pretty good. So I think we'll just go the double, double lord route. Get the most power we can on board. And start chump blocking because we have to. See what that one last card in their hand is. Hopefully it's no more fight cards. Savage Swipe is a good card. Thank you, Modern Horizons. Very good card for Mono Green Stompy. Elephant Guide. Oh, I gotta read this thing. Gets plus three, plus three. When it dies, I get an elephant. Lovely. 
Well, they're empty-handed, so now we know what we're dealing with. Still swinging in. I think I'm going to take the five. We'll get rid of these nettles. And then we'll start, like, freaking quadruple blocking this thing to kill it. They can regenerate it a little bit. Which, uh, maybe we need to watch out for as well. Uh, we'll play this so we can play both our things. Uh, no trample, right? We could just chump block this thing, too. Could swing in, chump block it if we need to. Mm. Could do that for a turn, maybe. Because if they have a Rancor, goes to a 7, we can block 8. Seems reasonable. I'm actually fine with that. We'll just use these two as chump blocks, and we'll start getting in for damage here. We gotta put the pressure on at some point. One of these will die, uh, our Sidewinder first. Let's see uh, if they got something good in their hand. Nest Invader. Good blockers for them. Doesn't really help with the River Boa situation. Now they pass. Okay. Now they're on the defensive. Hmm. That's a bummer. Well, we'll gain a life. It's not exactly what we're looking for, though. Well, we just got to pass now. Now we don't have super great attacks besides... I mean, they'll, they'll eat one of our creatures and just regenerate the river boa to save it. Uh, and it's not worth losing a lord over. Bit unfortunate, though. Would have loved to be able to attack in there. Okay, they got another land. So they're probably just going to pass back again. <laughs> yep. Riverland, we'll play it. We'll pass. We just got to keep going wide. Before we get some more power. We just need more power. Passing back. Alright, they're holding something in their hand. Gem hide isn't what I really want to see either. Eventually we get wide enough though and we can uh, just swing in. But we're just going to play the passing game. Okay. Sinew. Alright, I'll take it. Let's reevaluate here. We can get in for 12 damage. We lose a lord. They still have a river boa. No, that's still sketchy though. Still puts us in a lot of danger. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pass again. Can't go wide yet. Got to be able to go wide when we know we can uh, when we can kill them. Since our life total's so low. Say we swing in, they block with everything, or they regenerate River Boa, eat one of our lords, they lose their Nest Invader, Eldrazi spawn, then we just get Sinew Sliver up, and if they play something, a couple buffs on it, then we just die from the trample. There's the Rancor, see, that's what I was worried about. So 7-4, you've been hanging on to a card, deciding if you're going to play it. Now you're on the attack. Now we're going to make some giant freaking blocks. Uh, or we just make one? Uh, now we'll make, we'll make two. Make two like this. Um... Poisonous really isn't our way to victory right now, so I think I'd rather do it like this. Say okay. These guys are going bye-bye. 
but I don't want damage to go through right now, especially if they got a mutagenic growth. That's what they're, I think, might be trying to bank on. They're waiting for that trample, and then they can just mutagenic growth for a win. Yep, they're going to regenerate. Okay. Passing. We get a Lord. Now, they can only block two things. And we're swinging in for 20. So now we can swing in. Don't know what they can do to get out of this, really. All right, cool. Well, we played the second game right. <laughs> Little misplays on the first game, so I wasn't paying attention. But hopefully you guys enjoyed some Mono Green Stompy. Uh, it's a hard matchup for us, too, if they have the right start. It's really difficult. So as you saw in game two as well, I mean, we got really low in life, and we were getting pretty screwed. We were getting flooded. We had crappy winding ways. So leave a like, leave a comment below if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe for more Naya Slivers, and we will see you guys in the next video.